Birds flying high You know how I feel Sun in the sky You know how I feel Breeze drifting on by You know how I feel It's a new dawn It's a new day It's a new life For me And I'm feeling Good Yes guys, welcome at the first episode of Kevin, Life in Japan And life here is good Today I will talk about My first few days in Oita so let's get yes. right into this, guys. Last week I talked about Tokyo, and from Tokyo I flew uh, to uh, Oita, uh, where I live now for uh, these six months. I only have one month left, but yeah, that's how life is. I mean, you not always have time to make videos, and this video is also a little bit late, so sorry for that, guys. Uh, uh, I flew to Oita uh, and I had like two hours delay and the weird thing was uh, in uh, the airplane I saw someone who looked like it could be an international student but yeah, I was not sure and he was even sitting next to me in the bus but he was not talking to me because he was uh, sleeping and really tired and I was also really tired and I was like you know I will meet him later and in the end I met him in Kishakusha and I was like yeah I sat next to you in the bus and he was like really? oh but yeah we uh, got along really well, uh, his name is Dennis from Germany, so that's nice because I'm part German. And uh, but yeah, when I arrived in Oita Station, uh, my tutor uh, Narita was waiting for me. Uh, he's Japanese, but he's studying Dutch because he has a Dutch girlfriend, so that's really nice. Uh, because uh, uh, he was trying to speak Dutch with me, and yeah, it's really funny to have a tutor who can do that. And we were just talking a little bit at the station, he showed me a little bit of the station itself. And then uh, he took me to Kishukusha. But when we went to the ticket uh, gate, we ran into another international student. And I was like, hi, hello, uh, I'm Kevin, how are you doing? And he was like, in Dutch, hi, ik ben Tom, hoe gaat het? And that means like, hi, I'm Tom, how are you? And I was like, Oh, you're Dutch! Nice! Yes, a Dutch guy! So, I was directly not alone from the Netherlands, so that was really nice to know. And uh, uh, we got along really well. And then we went together to Kishikusha, and uh, Narita showed me around Kishikusha and the camps itself. And I met uh, Kenji there, Kenji's from Britain. He's a really nice guy, he's really kind. And after the tour and a little bit of acclimating in this environment, uh, Narita took uh, Kenji, Tom and me to a traditional Japanese restaurant where I had my first fried chicken, uh, Japanese fried chicken, and it was really good. And the next day uh, Narita took us to the uh, city hall to, because we had to register ourselves that we were living here for the next few months. But uh, Kenji is uh, part Japanese and he has a Japanese passport, so he needed a kind of letter from his hometown that uh, they approve him staying here. And he didn't know that, so that was not that good for him. So he had to uh, arrange that still. And But he stayed uh, with me, Tom and Narito, to help us with translating. And we had to fill in so many forms. Really, when you come here, be prepared. You need to fill in so much forms, so many times. You need to fill in the same information you already gave and we had to apply for our residence cards um, and we had to apply for pension and health insurance. So it took like two hours and I was really tired after that. Uh, then we went from some ramen and then we went home and in the evening I met uh, Katrina from Australia and I met uh, three Koreans, uh, Tong Yong. Uh, Tanaka and Lee and they were really kind and Lee was joking like yeah, yeah, yeah watch out for them they are from North Korea and they were like no 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 you're from North Korea and then we were joking with them I was like no, no you are all from North Korea so yeah when you go back to Kim Jong-un don't do greetings for me and please don't blow us up <laughs> 
<laughs> so yeah, we were just directly joking and we had some fun. And Katrina was uh, went to sit next to me and Tom and we talked and connected. The next day we had an uh, orientation day and we got so many papers like, like all of this, it's like ridiculous. And these are, these are not even the forms we had to fill in uh, for the international office. They already, we had to hand them in there and it was so much. And also like the same information I already gave uh, before I came here and I had to fill in my information again like four times or something. So be prepared for that when you go abroad to Japan. But overall it was really nice. Uh, in the evening uh, I met the Germans, uh, Marcus, Adrian and Valerie and also uh, Said from Iran and they are all so kind and they were like hey yeah, let's go tomorrow to all you can eat chicken and all you can drink so I went there with them and also Tom joined and we connected really quickly uh, we had a good time uh, lots of drinks it was not the best all you can eat chicken because they were really slow next time we went to another place like that it was way better we got two times more drinks and two times more three times more chicken even so that was good the second time first time man but yeah the next day I uh, went to the city again to lunch there with Narito, Katrina and Tom. But afterwards I had to take back the train alone because I had to study for a test uh, from the Netherlands that I failed last year. So I took the train but I took the wrong train and I found out soon, really uh, quick. But then I was already too late so it took me two hours to come to Kishikusha. Uh, well, normally it takes like 20 minutes from the station. But yeah, the next day I had my test and uh, I failed that one. So yeah, next time, next year, another try. But, so that was a little bit sad. And in the rest of the week I got to know the other international students. And we have such a nice group. And in my Christmas video you already saw some faces. Next video uh, will be uh, Kevin into the known again, and I will talk then about rice harvesting, uh, my kuni, my trip uh, with uh, my tutor and the international students, and my uh, hike to Mount Surumi. So stay tuned for that. And like the first few days, I'm only made some pictures. So uh, how far do we go into the timeline? Uh, how close we get to the moment I'm now? Um, how close? How more? And better content I have in my video so stay tuned for that and yeah guys uh, see you next week and stay tuned because like in my series uh, life in Japan I will have every week a little clip where I teach some Japanese to you guys so stay tuned for that and see you next time Kevin out bye bye Konnichiwa, watashi wa sensei no nihongo. Is it correct? I'm like Japan. Konnichiwa, watashi wa nihongo sensei. Japanese teacher. Watashi wa, okay. Konnichiwa, watashi wa nihongo no sensei desu. Of the, oh no, never do it in. Ah, fuck! I did it in Dutch. I don't need to do it in Dutch. Konnichiwa! Konnichiwa! Watashi wa Nihongo no sensei desu. Which means I am your Japanese sensei for today, Japanese teacher. So, we start with some simple words like hello and goodbye. So we start here with Ohio gozaimasu. The signs, there are lots of videos online with the symbols, so just look it up, but I wrote it down like this, the sign of O, HA, YO, O, like also the U, and for gozaimasu. Ohio gozaimasu means good morning. Then we have Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa means uh, good afternoon. And then we have Gombonwa. Gombonwa means 
good night. But the Kisha Kusha we use it also for good morning and good afternoon. Is that logical? No! But we still do it because we are Kishu Kusha Gang! Bam! And then we have Sayonara, which means goodbye. Oyasumi Nasai, it means uh, uh, good eve, uh, have a good sleep, a good night. Arigato gozaimasu, we always say that uh, to thank someone. So we say like everywhere at the store, or when someone gives something to us, or thank you for the lesson, thank you for class, like Arigato gozaimasu. And the last one is Sumimasen, like excuse me. Sorry. So yeah, these are some basic words with how you write it, how to write the signs. You, I will maybe make another video about that. But for now, these are the words you can learn. So, Ohio gozaimasu, which means good morning. Konnichiwa, good afternoon. Konbanwa, good night or good evening. I mean. Sayonara, which means goodbye. Oyasumi nasai, which means good night. Arigato gozaimasu, which means thank you. And sumimasen, which means excuse me. So, thank you for watching and see you guys later. Kevin out.